Welcome back to Acton TV Sports presentation of Colonials Football. Today's game has been brought to you by the Huntington Learning Center, Gallant Insurance, Steinberg Lally Charitable Foundation, Medical Aesthetics, TC Lando. Dunkin' Donuts of Acton. Shire, Caton, and Epstein, D.C. Acton Pharmacy. All right, hello and welcome, folks. Here we are at Leary Field as A.B. gets set to take on the Lowell Red Raiders. Chilly night, maybe 35 degrees. Temperatures are going to be dropping throughout the night. This is a playoff co consolation game, and these two teams very evenly matched. AB won to toss and decline, so they kick off to the Raiders. Here we go. Yep, and Tim, this has got to be the first time I think in a while I've actually done a broadcast with you. <laughs> Our buddy Mark Shire hasn't arrived. Oh, what do you know? Just showing in right on time is All right. Mr. Shire. Low takes the ball. It's got a seam up the middle and gets outside and around to the 37-yard line. And out of bounds. First and Tim, you would not believe Raiders. who just came out of the end zone oh, to join us. Game. I checked the globe today. <laughs> seven o'clock. I, I double, I triple checked it. Oh my God. Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> that or inaccurate. Which one do we go by? <laughs> How was that pregame show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was great. We just uh, we just came on. It's never Red a Raiders without you, Mark. in a read option. First and ten on the 35, and almost like a fake drop snap. It looked like to me to give us the number nine, George, <coughs> this to sell us. Okay, who do we have at quarterback? Is it Matt Finn? Is it Aiden stop? Finn? Number four. Yeah, I believe number four yeah, was warming up Aiden Finn. Yep. Last week in that big 42 to 7 win. Huh. Time a little quick out, complete for with a good second effort, maybe a seven yard gain. The Red Raiders will look at a 24. third down and let's see where they spot Jack this. About, about three. Well, Maybe when did you You're doing great, Mark. When did you guys find out it was a six o'clock game? I just read the email. <laughs> oh, what, what email? I didn't get that email. I always just I just pay attention to Rick's okay. email and I don't no, read I didn't the get that email. Third down. Uh, Aiden. Oh no, actually that's T oh, with the right. wild wildcat there, and he loses three yards, and that'll bring up fourth down and six. I want to tell you, T is a man among boys, and to stop him behind the line of scrimmage, take a look at this play. This is a kid who had 1,260 yards receiving last year, and now is in the wildcat at quarterback. Lowell's got a punt. Especially balls nine yards from the 50. It's going to be interesting on decision making in this game for both teams. They just get that kick off. Graham Brady back deep. Oh, we got they a flag. Yeah. I think number 22, Anthony Pitarino, got a little too physical with that block. Yeah, the block in the back on Pitarino. AB will take over. What about their. There's a flag on the play. It was such a nice warm day, but the temperature is crashing tonight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A six o'clock game is better than a seven o'clock game when <laughs> it comes to sure. when it comes to the temperature. It's about a five degree difference. All right, Nate Sullivan taking over after a big week last week. Oh Four man, touchdowns. best week, best week in terms of touchdowns. Alex Barraway is really. Blossoming as a receiver at the uh, second in the second half of the season here, which is, which not is great, that, so dangerous. Not only that, he is number five in all-time scorers this year. Yeah, that is absolutely right. A little slam pattern to Jed Hoger as he just carries two Red Raiders across the 40 to the 42. All right, great way to start. Let's take another look at this. Uh, Jed just finds the seam, 
they're playing, they're giving him a cushion and he's taking advantage of it. All right, so first down. Now that down. was a 20-yard catch. Okay, okay, Lowell jumped. Give me five yards, first and five. See if they, uh, you see the Red Raiders on it. It's, yep, it's against Red Raiders. Linebacker of the Red Raiders was clapping there, hoping it was uh, on AEB. They're going single high safety, really loading the box big time. Daring AB to pass, and uh, we'll take them up on it. All right, Alex Barry just jumps oh. outside, and a great yeah, play that's by tie. T. Yeah, T tie. Number nine, Alex Brett on a carry tackle in the backfield. By number 16. Brendan Ty. Brendan Ty, Ty. okay. Sorry, I got that wrong. All I right. usually get him wrong. <laughs> Second in the long six here. That five yard penalty really helped. What I find funny is it looked like Barrowood actually got outrun on that play. Well, Ty, Ty is one of the best players in the state. I mean, he just, he almost destroyed Central Catholic on his own, even in a big loss to Central Catholic. He can play with anybody. There it oh. is, another slant. Oh, and a nice, just put it in so nicely Fichillo there. On the to Nick Fachillo. And look, look at the spot. They really, very, just short of midfield. About three. Nick is a little gimpy here. You gotta watch for him, third and, third and three. He's coming out, Graham Graham Brady. Brady's coming in. Great pass and catch, and wow, what a, just a great set of moves. Sean Kelly with another 15 yards after the catch. All right, that's all the way down to the 25 yard line. Sean Kelly doing it all year. If you look at the replay, you see Sean Kelly take, take the ball and uh, just weave and bob and Take two Red Raiders with them down the seam. First and 10 on the 25. Yeah, that was Red a 26-yard catch and run. Well, quarterback keeper, Renate Sullivan, and well defended Sullivan by the Red Raiders, no gain. Well, I'll okay, Tim DiPaolo coming in here. George and uh, Judd Hogard. Split out right. Look, look for, look for something deep here. They may be going to the end zone here. Second and ten. Now the Red Raiders in really almost a uh, dual. Wow! Oh, a great catch. That catch is inbounds. Great Maybe. catch. I think they were going deep, but uh, Sullivan was flushed out of the pocket. Graham and Brady still managed to make a out. nice uh, play to Graham two, Brady. Just a yard or two gain there. Yeah, but he avoided a big loss. Third and long here, third and nine. Big play. Two down territory. A little too deep for a field goal. Pretty quiet night though, no wind. But the crowd has definitely shown up. Earlier, there was almost no one here, and now I'm, it's great to see. Well, they probably all members. thought it was 7 o'clock, like me. <laughs> yeah, they read the you globe. Know, at 7 o'clock, there'll be like 2,000 people coming in. There's a slant again. Jed Hogart, he's got a, a, a corner to the end zone. All Touchdown. Right. Beautiful. Wow, the yards after the catch for the Colonial. And the great thing is we're going to be able to see a replay because they won't be in hurry-up offense. We haven't been able to see a replay, but take a look. Replay, take a look at the a little, uh, composure here by Nate Sullivan. Yep. You see in the replay that Jed did a little hitch and then turned to the outside, and he, he's a lot quicker than he looks. I'll yeah, tell you. he sure is. We get that replay right after the extra point. Kick is good. All right. Colonials on the board. 
Well, I'll say this, that entire drive was not done with the feet, but with the catch. catch. They, they had zero rushing yards on that drive, but that was all O'Sullivan right there yeah, going but, for 76 but Will, yards. But Will, don't forget the yak. <laughs> yards after catch. That was yeah. done with a lot of feet. <laughs> A lot of yards after yet? catch nah, on that play. You know play. what I mean, Mark. I know what you mean. All through, like all through that, the uh, air. Red Raiders really challenged, you know, A.B. with, uh, you know, 8-9 in the box early on in that series. Then he went with double high safety, and we still took it to him on the hitch and the slants. Let's see how uh, low react, uh, you know, just response. What's really great is that entire drive, Dave Sullivan did not have an incompletion. All of his passes were caught. That's fantastic. After a great week like last week against Methua, now, now Lowell two, lost Jacob to Methua in 19-14 very uncharacteristically. At that point, Methua had been undefeated, winning four games in a row, and their star quarterback went down after the Lowell game. So uh, it might not be a, a true <laughs> comparison, but Lowell lost to Methua by five points this season. All right, Jacob Emmett. Getting ready to kick off, and he kicks a knuckler down the middle of the field and bounces. It's picked up on the 14, and in open ground is a Red Raider. Will pick up the number, but a good that's return Morris up to the that's, 45. That, that's, Ma that's Morris, and I want to tell you, both Morris and Rivers have returns for touchdowns on kickoffs this year. Morris. An 82-yard return, Rivers a 79-yard return. R Rivers also has a 64-yard punt return for a touchdown, so these kids can fly. All right, first and 10 on the 45. I'll say this, Mark, I almost would not have picked up that ball on that head ready to kick off. It looked like it would have gone out of bounds, but it, it paid off in his favor. All right, read option, and Aiden keeps it for a couple yard gain, I believe it's Aiden. Okay. Tie on the keeper, tackle by oh, it's tight. Yeah, tie, they, they go to a lot of Wildcat, Tim. I've watched a number of the games and Ty, they've got they've got a Wildcat like in a power here. formation where they'll have two backs just behind the line in a, in a power formation. This oh, time, good pick up. Good pick up as uh, I think we were keen on Ty that time. A lot of respect for that kid after that, that run. That German on the stop. Yeah, take a look at this. Ty give, gives it to Yasari. Yasari's had a 300 yard rushing games, 5'9, but 190 tough pounds. See uh, a great block at the point of attack there to spring that run. All right, Ty with the keeper off tackle and good second, okay, third, fourth you take a effort. Look at this kid, that's that's what he does. He ran over Central Catholic Tim, had a 64-yard touchdown, and he dragged the Central Catholic defenders with him, just like he's doing right now. Look at that, he breaks three tackles, and then he's a tough, tough player. Senior captain. Yeah, he looks strong. You know, the way he ran that. He had, he had 19 receiving touchdowns last year. Well, that one right there was for 18 yards. Okay. All right, Ty <laughs> on a sweep again, and he cuts and breaks a tackle and Ty gets four, maybe five yards. Yeah, if you keep him the four yards, uh, it's a victory with Ty. That German on the stop. Matt, Ger Matt German is everywhere. He's all over the place. He's a captain. Playing like a captain tonight. Little pit, you know, sprint out pass and Ty's pass tie. complete to number two. <coughs> not, a, not a first down. Complete As you can rivers. see, Ty is not a polished passer. A lot of the times that Ty passes, he'll just be little dumb passes, just like that. Just enough to keep the defense on its toes. A, B, an unusual D.
five up front and I think that's a first down. I looks think they, like it. they got well, seven, although seven, although the spot seven, does not look good. Whew, the spot looks short. He's gets fourth down, fourth and one, I think. It is. The ref indicates it. You can bet Ty's going to keep. Yeah, this, you got to you got a key on Ty. The H back action right there. Easy first down. Ty on the keeper. For Raiders, first down. Here's. Watch this, watch this set of steam. Yeah, look at that, look at that wow. uh, blocking right up front with that H back coming in. 2.56 to go in the first quarter. The Red Raiders chewing up some clock here on this drive. Ty on the edge, gets about three. As you can see, the, the, the first, First tackler that faces Ty is not going to bring him down. You've got to gang tackle this kid. Lowell methodically going down the field here. Second and five. This time, read option they give to the... Okay, Spencer, number 61, Spencer Alexander. Take a look at that. Just going right through that gap. And third down now. This is where things get interesting. Close to third and seven. It's maybe a long six. Now, if he fires a bullet in the end zone, I will take everything back. But, uh, oh, they see, they, Ty is not in. They had Aiden Finn in, number four. No, I don't. So is he like... And he is your passing quarterback. Timeout lull. From this timeout, let's recognize at the last home game, the Acton Boxborough Cheering Colonials. All right, can we take a look at the top 20? Do we, can we pull that up? The other senior cheerleaders, Rebecca Torres, Rose Davis Citron, Joel Sol Jr. cheerleader. If we get, the, if we get that top 20 up, you're going you're gonna to take a look at the first Sarah four Ray, teams. And the first four teams Sal, represent the Division I North finalist and the Division I South finalist. So you're going to have Central Catholic, St. John's, uh, Catholic Memorial, uh, and uh, um, they're, they're all going and Mansfield is, uh, is going to be playing against Catholic Memorial. St. John's is going to be playing against Central Catholic. Uh, that's all happening tomorrow and that is to see who goes to the Super Bowl in Division One. That St. John's Catholic Memorial game, that, that uh, or Central Catholic game, that should be a, a real interesting game. That's a Super Bowl within the. Absolutely. In, in, They're in all the great South. teams, and and Acton, Boxborough, and Lowell have lost to three of those teams uh, by big scores. All right, third down and six. Trying to go with a hard count, it doesn't work. It's Aiden at quarterback. Yep, Aiden Finn, looking, looking. Looking end zone, throws it up, and almost intercepted by Excellent. Sean Kelly. Excellent defense. All right, Pitorino, Kelly, well done. All right, take a look at this. Finn's got some time to throw. He's got plenty of time, he's looking, and here we go, Nate Sullivan, right there. And he said, oh, I should have had it. All right, fourth down, big play coming up. You notice how Sullivan's not wearing gloves. I know how that can be a factor in cold weather. Fourth down and about seven. Well, I'm not wearing gloves right now. Are you catching a football mark? <laughs> no, no, no. Fourth down, Aiden looking and that is going to, oh, I think he just might have gotten that first down with that extra effort. Here's the replay. Let's see uh, the where they marked this. Look at this. It was not a first down when he caught it. 
but he just moved himself right past the sticks and it's first and goal. First and goal. Great effort. Aiden with the read option. I'm surprised Ty is not back in there, frankly. And they're, and they're, and they're putting Finn. And that's Kevin Uzeri on the uh, carry there. Ball looks like it's on a five. Tough angle. Same run off tackle. Good pursuit. And very good D. Nate's no gain on the play. Nate Sullivan coming right in there with Nick, Nick Pacillo. Take a look at this. Looked like he had some room there, but that, that hole closed very quickly. Spencer Alexander was in there too. On the carry, number seven. Kevin Rosario. Sean Tobin. Slowed him down up front. Okay, now they're back to Ty in the Wildcat. Ty takes it off tackle and gets a Number couple. On the well, he's probably down, down to, to about, about the, the one and a half. Yeah, you think? I'd say. And Sullivan on the stop. It's going to bring up fourth and goal. On the well, one, it looks like from the marker. Tim, Tim it looks like, looks like they, the they're going to go with Ty Please. once again uh, on, the, on fourth down. I can't imagine that they won't. They're a better offense with Ty. They're, uh, they're one-dimensional, but they're a better offense with him at the, at the moment. I think we, we're we going to have to rotate our defense to stop Ty out there. It's really two different defensive schemes. When Ty's on the field, you got to go play run. I don't think the play action is going to be dangerous with him. I don't know. Well, they had, they had a quarterback, uh, Dakeel Neal, uh, who started the season. I'm not sure what happened to him during the season, whether they just benched him or he has an injury, but uh, it really was the necessity to move Ty from a wide receiver uh, to the quarterback position. Now you talk about Ty, he right now has eight carries for 34 yards, so he's averaging just a little over four yards a carry. So that, that probably speaks volumes to the AB defense to only keep him at that Yeah, it, re it really does, Will. Uh, last week against, against Lexington, he averaged about 10 yards a carry. Uh, they beat Lexington 42 to seven last week. Uh, you know, they, they've had similar wins against Lexington and Chelmsford, Acton Boxborough and Lowell. Uh, but uh, Methuen is the outlier. AB beat Methuen 27 to nothing, and Lowell lost to the 19 to 14. All right, fourth down and goal on the one. Let's see what uh, Lowell looks like. Ty at the uh, quarterback. They're in a double wing. Strong right, and he goes on the weak side, and looks like touchdown, Red Raiders. Yeah, that was pretty predictable. That's There's a long not touchdown. Not much you can do. I mean, when this kid just gets a couple yards going, he's a strong kid. And the extra point will tie this game at seven. Looks like they're they're running behind this tackle, uh, number 75, he's Santana. Big he's a big kid. He's 5'11", oh, no, oh, no. 30 pounds. Oh, no, the other, they've got another one who's 6'4", 262. Yeah, but, uh, and the kick is good. So it's all tied up with 11.56 to go in the second quarter. Here's the replay again. Watch him go on the weak side. Touchdown. Good, good power run. Okay, our turn to respond here. I am expecting a fairly high scoring game today because I, I think uh, both these offenses really can move the ball against each other's defense. Yeah. You look at time of possession though in the first quarter, AB got down the field quick. Right, yeah. And Glad Lowell would get the ball. Yeah, absolutely. It makes you wonder who's wearing down who in, uh, after only 12 minutes of play. All right, back deep, Graham Brady and Alex Barrett. 
for the kickoff. That is Blake Ramos, number 21, kicking. They kick it deep, Barrowit gets it on his own 12, 13 yard line. Up the middle he goes, he's got a crease. Oh. And he just missed it, oh, but he went up to the 38 he goes. What a nice return. In the words of the great Tim Lido, he was really exhilarating. <laughs> yeah, he turned the Jets on. He certainly that did. Just one, one ankle tackle. He was gone. He was up to about 19 miles an hour already. Take a look at this. Really good return, but look at the way he develops his speed. He makes his cut, and he is gone. Wow. Well, I want to see more plays like that from Barrowette because so far he has one carry for zero yards. That'll change. That'll change. Oh, I know it will, and I hope that's the starting point. But like like Tim like Tim said, uh, they've been using Barrowett in uh, screens, and uh, he's picked up a lot of yardage after catch. As good a runner as he is, he's you know he looks as looks like a slot receiver to me. Yeah, just get in, him out uh, in at space. At the next level. Yeah. Uh, I, that's what it looks like. And it's Barrowit off tackle, He's fighting for a couple. See where they give make, give that uh, forward motion there. I think it's only good for about one. Only good for about one yard. That's a that's a lot of effort just for one yard. And he's yep. moving it and second and eight. There we go. In the eye. All right, Sullivan back to pass, and there it is, Jed Hoger. Oh, he almost, almost wow. got away. But don't you love the way that Jed finds a seam and just sits there? Take a look at this. Nate Sullivan looking at him all the way, he finds a seam, just sits down, almost gets away, that little, that little toe tackle there. First and 10, it's the Red Raider territory, go to Colonials. They're Ball's on the 47. Really been the last four games that Jed Hogart has really established himself as a star of this team. Back to pass Sullivan again. And he's gonna take it. And uh, he'll lose a couple. Bring up second and 11. Here's the replay. Just Just didn't see anything, pulls it down, and uh, good pursuit by the Red Raiders. Yeah, I was, when I saw Jed Hogard uh, play well against a talented team like Everett with that team speed. Absolutely. That said a lot a to me. Very, I mean, very you know, he's good. He's played game. well all season, yep. but that's a different level of competition. And when you can continue to play like it's an everyday week, so to speak, yeah, an everyday game, that was impressive. Sullivan, going deep Got for Grant Brady. And he, what a oh my catch, God. Another, another miraculous season. catch by Graham Brady. Who is there was setting a flag. Up, setting there. up his own highlight film, but that all may come back. There well, was a flag the midfield. Just for How kids. did he catch this ball? Oh my goodness, what concentration. But it's all for naught, as there's a penalty on A.B. It's all coming back, and it's going to be second and long. Whoa, what a squander. Well, Mark, I think it was an illegal block. You, Mark, you mentioned concentration, and that's the, that's the word of the day for Brady. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen any A.B. player catch contested throws like Brady in any yeah. season. I mean, he's had like four or five gems this year. It's just amazing, year. yes. That you look at it like how, you know, at any level, how do you catch that ball? This kid, something else. Great play. Second and 20.
And Sean Kelly with the catch, about a four yard gain. Yeah, not much there, it's gonna be third and long here. Here's a replay, just a quick hitch, good hard throw. Nate Sullivan's throwing the ball hard and well tonight, it's on target. That's a tough, that's a tough throw to make. Well, if he has time, he can make this third and 16. Because there are, there are openings in that, in that secondary. You get Kelly and Hoggard. See if the Raiders bring a blitz here. And they do. And there it is. What a pass. Nick Basillo with a first down catch across oh, the 30. I love it. I love it. Nate Sullivan Watch standing this. tall in the pocket. And the blitz didn't even get to him. And once again, great concentration. Has to turn his body around. Nick Pacillo, the heart and soul of this team. Number 24. And it's a first down on the 28 yard line. Well, I gotta say this, Pacillo was looking at Hogard and Kelly going, you guys got catches of over 20 yeah. yards. I want one myself. He's joining the club. First yeah. and 10 and the keeper, Sullivan goes, Nice Sullivan little, not a bad game. Yeah. Nice little run there. Okay, well That might have been the play. best in between tackle run he's made all year because he just picked yeah, his way this. for five he got a solid opening. yards. He was very patient and picked up uh, good yardage. That's Benjamin Zan. He looked and like Finn Murray there. <laughs> the way Finn used to run last year, picking his way inside. Boy, Finn could really pick and choose his spots, couldn't he? Second and five on the 25, just inside the 25. Sullivan with another tear to Brady, and he drops oh, it, and it's a, a touchdown. touchdown! Wow! Oh, you know Sullivan was going to get Brady again. He wasn't oh, going to let yes. him go on skate. Look at this, and once again, look at the concentration over the shoulder. He takes it in, he protects the ball, he's inbounds, and Graham Brady has another unbelievable catch. And if you, if, uh, Rick, if you can take that play up again, well, just, let's kick this extra point first. And I wanna, just wanna make another uh, comment on that. That was some play, this kid. All right. The kick up and it is good. So with 7:28 to go in the first half, it's the Colonials back on top, 14-7. We take a look at this play. Watch how Brady adjusts his position with three or four steps to uh, to be able to catch this ball. That just it's a very difficult thing to coach. I mean, it really is. Watch this. And you see, you see the, the ball's thrown outside. And if he doesn't adjust, he misses this catch. Watch this. You see him. See him go out about two or three yards and he makes the catch. If he runs the pattern straight ahead, he loses. He doesn't make that catch. And Tim, what was, what what was even a, a, a more impressive was the way that he held on to that ball because oh, yeah. he could have. That ball could have easily fallen out. He secured the ball, made sure he was in bounds, and uh, if anyone deserved that touchdown, it was Graham Brady. That was a great point, Mark. You could see as he went around, the ball was loose under his belly. He tightened it up before he hit the ground, very Edelman-like in that regard. So uh, just great athletic play all the way around. Yeah, well, you guys are going to love Brady. Well, you're going to love Sullivan's numbers. He's 9 of 9 for 133 yards and two touchdowns. Wow. I don't think I've that? seen Sullivan ever start off a game this hot. Well, I'll tell you, I, I remember the one game where he had uh, almost 200 yards, I think, in the first quarter. So. All right, uh, Evan getting ready to kick. I just want to point out we got to respect the special teams of uh, the Red Raiders with this return. This time, well okay, covered. Okay, well done. After that last kickoff, I was getting a little nervous there. As you were yeah, yeah they're two burning. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob Rivers and, uh, and Morris are two of the better returners that we're going to face this year. It was much better. We, you can see that Columbia was breaking down and covering the lanes well there. Uh, let's see if they go Wildcat or whether they go with Aiden Finn.
Let's see how the AB defense does on this drive. Looks like it's Aiden at quarterback this time around. And a read option, and the ball's loose. And I think it's Lowell. I think Lowell Raiders. covered. Yeah. That ball was in the. Covered by number 52. All right, but that brings Lowell back about six yards. And you see number seven, Kevin Yazari, just hitting that ball as he goes past Finn. And oh, we came so close to recovering that. Second and looks like about 17. Balls all the way back to the uh, 15, the 25, sorry. All right, off tackle. Oh boy! Just Almost a saving a first down. tackle, touchdown wow. saving tackle there. Carry by number seven. I had him. I had him going all the way down the sidelines. Look at this. He almost did it. He turns the corner, and it's Graham Brady, who is the one that saves this touchdown. If he gets past Brady, uh, it's doubtful Kelly's going to catch him at that angle. A good play by Brady. You see Brady get his body across the runner, just so he. Uh, oh, wow. okay. That's a first down for Lowell. Offside, baby. So much for the third down drama here. First and 10 for Lowell. Back to Brady's tackle. Just get his body across the runner because you know you just don't want to leave yourself a risk of an arm tackle break there and a touchdown. <laughs> so yeah. You get your whole body play. across there. It's a good tackle. All right, first and 10. And this time it's Ty around the edge. He's got a seam and he's knocked out of bounds. Oh, that was Sullivan right there. That was Brady. Brady challenged Sean him. Kelly with the yeah, Sean Kelly. With Sean the Kelly with the stop. But, you know, Ty looks like, you know, he just looks thicker and stronger than just about anybody else on the field. And he's got great speed, too. I think we have another offsides maybe here. Looks like low Let's left see. early, I think. Yep. Okay. Goes the other way this time. You'll see on the other side of the field that the uh, the Red Raiders coaching staff is very vocal. I can I can hear them all the way here. Well, that's Coach Florence for you. I heard him oh, during pregame. So, like, you could hear him yelling at his players. I think I think he sang opera in a, in a previous life. Look at that. Ty. As, as we say, Ty is not a great passer, and uh, and that's exhibit number one right there. Look at this. He. It looks like it's the first time he ever threw a ball. He That's throws the ball like my mother did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Mom, but my mom was a pretty good athlete, actually. I, you know. But was she playing she, football? She was a broad jumper in Chelsea. Is you that know? right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. She showed me her medals. She, not bad. That's... All right. And. Good defense Boy, by the Colonials. He's a quick, he's a quick kid, and that's a great stop. And it's going to be third and about 14 now. And this is not four down territory. Look at, look at it. Look at him make his cut. But that is a great tackle right there. Third and 14. And I think you're going to see Finn in here. Well, no, ties out there. You don't, I don't think you want Ty out there at third and 14. Yeah, Lowell, that left tackle's 260 pounds. Yeah, that's the one I was seven. talking about. Yep. It's a big boy. Yep. 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 Yeah, that's 77, Lewis Kadim. Incomplete. Yeah, their they're passing attack with Ty is almost non-existent. And Lowell's got to punt the ball. I'm surprised Finn wasn't in there. If, you, if you're going to yeah, throw the ball, put Finn in there. I don't understand that throwing motion. But now, you know, we our defense knows, I think, the uh, a little bit more, yeah, a little with bit the more tendencies, the tendencies of right, exactly. Ten, tendencies scheme. is the exact word. Yeah. You can see it on film, but you just have to see it live. And they get the, the punt off, and fair catch. 
John Kelly, first and ten colonials on the 18. All right, very, very good defensive uh, series for AB. 445 left to go in the half. An opportunity to make this a two-score game. Well, I'll say this. Lowell's been doing all of their damage with the ground game. AB's doing it the opposite way with the passing game. And so time of possession is going to be with Lowell. Hopefully the score will be with AB. Also, I point out, Kelly made a wise choice to take a fair catch on that because they were coming in on him quick. I'd like to see AB run it this, this series. This la that last drive to AB, you know, they had some long completions there, some tough third downs. Uh, but you'd like to see them get the running game established. But Lowell's, you know, got eight in the box, six man line. Nate Sullivan looking. Whoa, that wow, was very he, thank dangerous. Thank God he held on to that ball. I, I thought that ball was going to go flying, and I was hoping that it was going to go out of bounds. Look at the way. Look at the way. He's got it like, a, as they say, like a loaf of bread. He's got that ball, and he hangs on with one hand and just puts it out. And thank goodness he hangs on to it. Well, like you said, Mark, that's a loaf of bread, but it doesn't have any butter on it. No, thank goodness for that. 4.06 to go in the half. AB now second and 16, 17, backed up into uh, to the 15 or so. Little swing pass, and Alex Barrowit gets a couple. Yeah, just couldn't get out there, just couldn't get into any open area. But they should be doing this this a little bit more with Alex. No no blocking up front here. Third and long. I don't know if that's what the offensive line thought they were going to do. <laughs> it was a quick reaction type of play. All right, empty set. Nate Selvin looking long. And over the middle. Oh! Wow, poor Sean, Sean Kelly. Sean Kelly got hit. Big oh man, time. he looked like a, like an Oreo cookie there. He was the cream, and he he got sandwiched right there. Look at that. One, two. I think he avoided a big hit uh, from uh, number one, Blanca on that Duclu. All right, well, AB to punt here with 3.07 to go in the first half. Still plenty of time. And they get an end over end punt. And what a roll. What a roll. Right on the 50. There you go. Right on the 50 yard line. Well, I originally thought I, I thought Lowe touched that ball. I did too. As a matter of fact, I was, uh, I was thinking, I was thinking that Graham Brady should have tried to sell that. I as a touch and go after that ball and, and pick it up like he had uh, won a trophy. Maybe we can see the replay. Yeah, let's take a look if we can see, see the replay. Touched, you know, they, it, it came very close to touching a Lowell player. I think the ball reacted like it was touched. Yeah, let's, let's take a look. Yeah. It's coming down. No, we, no it's okay. a little too late. It's just us, uh, it's just me with my uh, no. hallucination. Well, I'll say this. It took 11 tries for for Sullivan to throw an incompletion. It's a pretty good half. Ten in a row. Pretty good you half. You can't get any better than that. Wow, big time. Off tackle run for 11 yards. Go to Red Raiders. This kid is very quick. Kevin Yasari, as we said, he's had 300 yard rushing games. You look at Ty as a rusher, we got a flag on the play, so this may be coming back yep. against Lowell. We got a hold. Penalties have been costly against both teams in this game, negating huge gains yeah, and well, scores. Well, this negates a first down and makes it basically first and uh, first almost and 20. first and 20 right now. 2.49 to go in the first half. They run that play. It looks like straight ahead blocking. No. No power, I didn't see the guard pull. I think we were in all the gaps anyhow. All right. Looks like Ty at quarterback now.
first and 20. Tie with the keeper, off tackle. Good second, third, fourth effort. Boy, look at that, 13 yards. Big, huge gain on first down, and that's Ty winding his way through and getting past Spencer Alexander and still moving. Second and six, Red Raiders in colonial territory now, and on the 46. Aiden with the pass completion first down, is that? No, that's incomplete. Incomplete, Yeah, okay. incomplete, yeah. Thought he had it, but then it dropped at the last moment. He had it, and then wow, great, great defense. Just knocked it right out. That's Anthony Pitterino with a great defensive play. Pitterino, another gamer. Another, you know, really, really good really high tough school kids. football players. Really you know? kids who love like to play team. football. Yeah, really like it's this a, team. a team that's easy to like. It's a team that can wind up 8-3 and three this year after a 9-2 and two campaign last year. And losing a lot of talent. All right. Timeout. Okay, we got a timeout. Timeout Lowell. Yep, just under two minutes to go in the first half. Makes you wonder what kind of play calling they're going to do here because they are six yards away from a first. Well, if I were a Red Raiders coach right now, I think I'd run a halfback option. I'd have Aiden in there. I'd hand off the top. I, I mean, I have, I have some some halfback option pass. I think that, I think we're definitely preoccupied with the run, <laughs> and they don't really have a, a a diversified passing attack. It's pretty limited. As well, the, seen. the question so is, is do you have somebody who can? who can make that pass, that's it's the question. Tie. It's <laughs> definitely, definitely not Ty. But but I'm, I'm assuming you do, you know, somebody's there. They got a couple of guys they rotate in and so on, so that's what I would do. And I really do apologize to my mother. I feel really bad. That was that was just not a very good thing to say. I mean, you know. Oh, great athlete though. Yeah, just couldn't throw a football. No wonder Alex was, uh, such a good football play. They said the athleticism <laughs> comes from the mother. From my, from my mother, no, certainly not you know? from me. Was Alex a runner or a blocker mainly mm -hmm. when he played football? He tight end and a middle bit linebacker. Of both. There's the, oh! There's a double fake reverse. And I don't believe it. <laughs> wow. Well, well Tim, you called it. You <laughs> called it. It wasn't, it, it wasn't exactly <laughs> what you were calling, but it was right there. Look at that. Aiden back to Ty, and he knocks off Pachillo. And Aiden Finn, who can actually throw the ball, gets it to uh, George. Yep. Close enough to my Drew call, anyhow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. All right, first and 10. That was In a 30-yard pass. Red Raiders. Look end zone here, and oh! oh it's another great have been defensive play. Oh, we just had too that's many defenders. I think if we had one less defender, we would have intercepted that ball. Several, I'm just look, five AB defenders, two low receivers. Look at this, good. look at this. It's up in the air. We've got two, one AB. Sullivan taking it away from Pitorino. All right, second and 10 on the 15. 122 oh, to go. Oh, wait a minute, that's five yards. Against AB. They're going for that hard count. Wow. That's more, more offside calls than I've seen against AB in any half. See, now I would bring Ty in at, at uh, Oh, yeah, Wildcat. absolutely. Bring him in at Wildcat, second and I think five. That's, I think that's a mistake to go with uh, Aiden here, but we'll see what happens. You see, uh, that's what it comes Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now, you've got to call a timeout and put number 16 back in there and just let him run the ball. And, and I would, you know, they run that straight ahead blocking with that uh, off tackle play. But I think if you did the, uh, you know, I, I, they, I'm sure they have the Chelmsford, uh, you know, uh, double tackle play. You know how they put that wing back behind the tackle? You right, run that right, with that exactly. kid behind it. Yeah. 
because we know it's coming anyhow, and I think that you know that. And that and, would be and, tough and, to and and he can also cut it. He's got the speed yeah. to cut it outside. If the if the middle is is not open, he can cut it outside. He's done that. He did that. I saw that run against Central Catholic. It was amazing. 64 yards, ran through about three or four players, and then outran two others. I'm going to guess that what uh, coaches on the AB side are saying is that you know. Up on the defensive line is to get some angles and slant because straight ahead blocking, I think it's 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 where it's been tough against the Red Raiders on the run attack. So I think we've got to slant and get some penetration. Yeah, that's a good that's a really good point. Let's you, need, see. you need you need Jamie Collins in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> number number fifty eight. We'll just put him in for one play. I think I sent you that uh, Twitter. Did you yeah, see that, that was great. That, that was great. Crazy, right? What an athlete! Oh. My goodness. Well, let's see what happens because there are 10 yards to go. Well, for you a called touchdown. it, Jim. You called it. Ty is in there making the right call here. And they, they do have that configuration. See the guy yep, lined up exactly. right behind the tackle? Exactly. That's the challenge of playing. He goes the way. opposite way. Look for the cutback and well defended by AB. He does like to run to the weak side. Okay, take a look at it. Everybody thinks he's going to the right. He goes to the weak side, finds a hole. But that closes quickly. All right, and third and goal on the eight. And oh, nice. what a stop! Open field tackle. What a stop! Alex Barrowin. And you just didn't expect to see that happen. He came out of nowhere. Look at this, Kevin Uzeri and Barrowin fighting off two blocks and getting him about five yards behind the line of scrimmage and it's gonna be a tough fourth down. It's fourth and nine. They can get a first down at the five yard line. 48 seconds to go. And again, what a great form tackle. You see how he got his body across Perfect. Textbook. the player. Textbook tackle. If, oh, yeah. you, uh, if, you, if you play straight up on that man, you break an arm tackle and you got end zone there. That's, that's, these kids are very well coached. Well, well, now, yeah. now you expect to see uh, Aiden Finn coming back in, number four, who is your passing quarterback. I'll tell you, Barrowette was like, I will not be denied hey, that tackle. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that, was a big, that was the defensive play of the game at this point. Now, I know you've seen all the YouTube of, of Lowell over the last week for the whole season, Mark, knowing you. So do they, do they have a, a play where Ty runs a quarter out? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, Ty runs a quarter route and Aiden just chucks it up and lets that athlete go up and get it today. You know, you know they what, they, they really haven't done that much with Ty as a receiver, which is really interesting since he was like the Massachusetts top receiver right. last year. Right. I mean, you, you got 1,200, over 1,200 yards receiving last year. Well, that would be my call here. I think you, I think you, uh, you let him run the corner and you throw a jump ball in there or you know you run a you know back shoulder if they are that sophisticated let's see he's on the he's in the tight slot on the left side the inside yeah, man on that trip they're going to him they're going to him i mean finn finn even looked at he's him he's looking here. that way and over no. the middle they go no, no flag. flag no wow. flag okay it's time to take a knee for 43 seconds and go in with a one touchdown lead. Looking, he didn't look towards Ty at all. And, and uh, that ball's not well thrown either. No, no, that ball was just over. It was good coverage by yep. Kelly, but that was overthrown. They were using Ty as a decoy on that play. Yeah, that was number two, Jacob Rivers, the ball was thrown at. We haven't seen much from him tonight. Yeah, and he's, he's their top receiver. I still think you go for the go for the corner, given given how you know they just don't have a precision passing game. But almost anybody could throw a ball to the cone <laughs> and just put it up there and see what happens in the corner. Yeah, that well, middle I wanna... pass. They always say if you throw late over the middle, you're always in trouble. You're always in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Now, are they going to take a knee? Or are they going to go for it? So with 43 seconds deep in their own territory. Wow. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, you never know what's going you on never inside know. Coach Bassett's You never know. You got, one, you got one good uh, uh, pass play, then you're in business. You got Red timeouts. Raiders don't show blitz. 
And they heave it up for Jed Holger. Oh, that oh, is. And that's, yeah, that's a flag. A flag yes. That's a flag he right was, there. He was riding him like a pony at the circus. <laughs> Honestly, you could just see. Hey, all I had to do was give 25 cents, and he was, he was going around and around with him. My God. All right, that took five seconds to march down. Let's a, see where they marched That's down. a pass interference call. <laughs> <laughs> you got to love the coaches yeah. over there Red at Lowell going like, why didn't you throw a flag for that end zone pass? <laughs> Red Raiders coach is having a canary over there. <laughs> well, they are quite exuberant to say the least. And the ball is all the way up to the 28 yard line. Right, and we got a replay on that? If we can get if we can get a replay, I'm not sure. Here's the replay. We'll see the pony ride. Okay. <laughs> there he goes. He's just he's just having him he's just all over him. He's just <laughs> easy call. Okay. 37 <laughs> seconds to go. All right, where is, you see uh, Alex Barrowett on the outside. Empty set, and the Raiders don't blitz. So, right call, we get the ball out, and Sean Kelly doesn't get out of bounds. Oh, uh, tried, to get, tried to get out of bounds. You're gonna have timeout to call a timeout AB. here. Timeout AB. 27 seconds, they really, timeout. that timeout, AB. they should put another second on that clock. That timeout was called at 29. <laughs> So, Here's the replay, you see. Yeah, he, he looked, he, he bought himself some time, but didn't have anyone except his, Sean Kelly, who was kind of released to him and about a three yard gain. Well, the, that was the right defense. The Red Raiders basically just rushed for, dropped everybody back. And so they covered five receivers with, with six players. <laughs> so I would say, throw it up, Either let Graham Brady make another insane catch <laughs> or maybe get a flag. You have 27 seconds to go. That tear is open. Uh, I don't know if they've changed coverage on Brady, but that's a good call. Yeah. And on the Raiders' side, I, I think I'd go, I'd go blitz here. I'd, I'd send another man. And, you know, we, we haven't seen it. They haven't blitzed very much at all this no, game. No, no. Sullivan's had good time. You go back blitz, there. you uh, you you go into half, you know, right now. So let's see. They, they I might think be they, I think they're blitzing here. Yeah. They're, I think they're coming. Nope. They just did a little wide open. Is Jed Holger and he steps out of bounds for a first down all at the right. 45. Very efficient play because you get your first down, you get out of bounds, you gain good yardage. And once again, Jed is a man on his own. He has no friends at all. Nobody likes him. Well, they were running a deep zone that time. We took advantage of it. He, he went as deep as he could and curled back and pitch and catch. That's, that's good offense. First and 10 on the AB 45. 20 seconds to go and a half in the eye. Again, Sean Kelly had to curl back. Oh, you know what? It would have been better if Kelly did not <laughs> catch that ball because they're going to have to spike the ball right now. Nine seconds to go. Okay. Three seconds. All right, that's a Hail Mary from the 48-yard line. The ball stops the clock. Yeah, if Kelly, if Kelly had not caught that ball, then uh, they'd have about uh, 15, 18 seconds to work with. But you know, when you're a receiver, that's what you do. You yeah. catch the ball. Right. You're, that's what. That's in your DNA. You're programmed to do that. Okay. What does Coach Bassett do here? He's going to have to. Maybe. Uh, do they have a hook and ladder in the in the book? I haven't seen one yet. I haven't this seen year. one either. That's a tough one. Well, I'm wondering what the Red Raiders are going to do here. They got a lot of people in the backfield, but they have four people up front. Well, they're rushing five. And 
and they throw it and short, that's and it. that should be it for the half. See if they call it, and it is. It's 14-7 Colonials, and just as your analysis over the week had said, Mark, you said this would be a close game between these two teams, two evenly matched. I know Max Prep has the Red Raiders, uh, uh, you know, rated over the Colonials, they, yeah. which has really got my hair up. That this did game. me. Red, the Red Raiders are, are ranked number 61 in the state. And Max Preps has Acton Boxborough rated number 75. That doesn't make any sense based on what we see. I don't think. I think they are evenly matched. I think your analysis is right on as usual. But we got a 14-7 <laughs> wait, game. Wait a minute. I thought we would give Everett one heck of a game. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, I'm talking about no, for tonight. Okay. But uh, you know the temperature is dropping. <coughs> it's advertised. I think we're in the high 20s right now, and that'll do it for this first half action. We'll be right back after this message with the Statman player comparison. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, A.B. Welcome back, everybody. It's time for our Statman Halftime Player Comparison. Take it away, Mark. Okay, I've never seen stats like this that are so lopsided from team to team. You've got, you've got the, the, uh, the immense low passing attack, uh, one, one for three for four yards total passing. Uh, rushing, we've managed to keep Ty in check, even though he's got he's got 68 yards. He hasn't really had any breakaway yardage, and Yuzeri's got uh, seven carries for 28 yards, and that basically is it for Lowell. So we've kept him under control at least. And once again, Nate Sullivan is having another insane first half. I'd like to take about five of his first halves from this season. Uh, he's just incredible. 13 for 14, 168 yards, two touchdowns. His big targets are Sean Kelly, 87 yards, and Jed Hogarth, 52 yards, and of course, Graham Brady with that tremendous touchdown reception and Nick Pacillo with that fabulous catch. And uh, as far as rushing goes, well, they've got four yards passing for Lowell. We've got four yards rushing for Acton Boxborough. It really has been an interesting uh, you know, first half. I like the way AB has diversified the passing attack, just spreading the ball around once, once again. It's just not one receiver. And I'd look for Alex Barrow to handle the ball more in the second half, but we'll get to that in a little while. That's it for Statman. Player comparison, thanks to Will Henry. Stay tuned for the second half and first half highlights just after this message. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. All right, welcome back, everybody. Here we have a you know, 14-7 first half of football. A B on top. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. Okay, here, here you see one big star, 10 for 10 for Nate Sullivan, and one emerging star catching that touchdown pass. Number four, Jed Hogarth to get the scoring going. Jed is just a stud, and here is Ty off tackle with a power touchdown run for the Red Raiders to take it on the board. Okay, now look at Graham Brady adjust to this throw. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that is Nick Pacillo on that play. Number 24 with a great catch. And here's Graham Brady. Watch this as he 
catches the ball. Look at the adjustment at the very end. And as he comes down, the ball's a little loose. He takes control and wraps it up for the score. Okay, and I do have to make one amendment to the uh, passing stats. I gave you uh, the passing stats for Mr. Ty. Aiden Finn is three for seven for 43 yards. Still not a, uh, not a real strong passing attack for Lowell. Yep, and the temperature continues to crash. I think it's time for a little hot chocolate, maybe a slice of pizza. A so slice we'll, of uh, pizza is good. We'll get in and get some warm, get some, uh, you know, little heat here, and we'll be right back after this message with the start of the third quarter. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, A.B. All right, welcome back, everybody. A.B. wanted to toss to start the game, declined, so they received the ball, they're receiving the ball in the second half here and here we go and they kick a squib, squib down the middle and it's caught and the kick is down and he's down at the uh that was um, that's christian young on the christian young, yeah. christian young. and wisely just takes the knee good play too you know that the ball the bouncing squibbed. ball there first and 10 on the 27 yard line it looks like Well, let's see if they start the uh, second half with a rush. I want to see how uh, the Red Raiders defend the passing game of the Colonials coming out in the second half because if I were them, I'd, I'd rush three and uh, force us, you know, and drop, drop a lot of players and <coughs> say, A.B., run the ball, beat us with the running game, but let's see if they do that. They don't. They load, they load up and they look like they're going blitz. So they're going with the pressure game against Nate. And here they go up the middle. Little out pass to Alex Berwitt as he gets the quick little three, four yards. The right, right play, good, good play. Okay, he, he made the best of it. Not much of a gain, but he got all he could get out of it. No gain. That's, that's a, just a tough angle for us to pick up there. All right, second and 10. Red Raiders with three deep, almost safeties. Uh, uh, red. That's a reception right at the 30 yard Pass line. Is complete to number 19, Tim DiPaolo. It's complete to DiPaolo, that Brings pass. Third about eight. It's like that, this is like that Patriot short passing game. You get two receptions and you get third and seven. Well, that's Topalo's first action of the night. All right. Third and eight. And over the middle. Perfect. And a first down. 
right at the Sean first Kelly. down marker. Sean, Sean, Kelly. Sean Kelly. Sean Kelly, good for Navy first down. Really, look at this. Nate Sullivan just going Sean right Kelly. to the first Number down. Three. Throws Kyle a Shanahan. bullet to Sean Kelly. And they move the chains. See what these, uh, the, the cover three, you see these safeties are lined up about eight yards off yep. the ball. That, that play just tucks in underneath. I the know safety. that's what they've been doing. That's what that's what Hug, uh, Jed Hogger has been doing, and that is open that area. Good, Good play. Pitch okay. option pass, and Alex Perwick gets a seam on the outside and spins his way to a first down run, 12 yards. All right, that's what I like to see. That <laughs> old Oklahoma Sooner option. Yep, that's going to be Barrowitz's first big carry of the night, and I can't believe I'm saying that at this point in the game. All right, at midfield, wind starting to pick up a little bit, and they run the tear to Brady, and... Oh, I thought it was going to be intercepted. Brady with double coverage there. Very think, well covered. I think the wind uh, came into effect that play. I, just... I, was, I was looking for another immaculate reception there. <laughs> there we go. The ball is up in the air. The wind gets to it a little bit. Double covered. I expected Brady to just kind of come down with the ball miraculously. I'm glad no one came down That's with that right. ball. I that almost that, looked picked. That, that looked picked, didn't Second it? Second and ten. There's a screen. There's a screen in motion here, and down the sideline, do -si do and there goes Alex Barrowett picking his way all the way to the 12-yard line. All right. 38 yards. Woo! Quiet in the first half, but coming out like a gang on the, the, the second half. This is a beautiful screen here. You saw it all the way. Didn't think it would amount to much, but Barrowett keeps, stays inbounds, tiptoes along the sidelines, then moves it out, gets a nice block there, and then the rest of it is on his own. I'd say that's the best screen of the year right there. All right, Nate, back to throw, and Graham Brady. All right. Uh, I'm that's sorry, uh, Sean Kelly, Kelly, right, yeah. Curls back and cradles that ball for a nice reception there to bring up second That's it. and two. Just brings second it and in one. and brings up a lot of options here on second down. Nick Pasillo comes in. Let's see if he checks in at fullback. He's in at tight end. Let's see if they run behind big Nick. I'd like to see a little wing T action on this play, but. They run. Run I formation. There's Nick Priscilla tight end that right side. See if they do a little off tackle run. There's a, maybe a jet. Jet Hobart it, behind it. Yeah. And he curls up. Oh, I thought he was in, but he stopped at the one yard line. Wow. The oh play, my no, God. No, no, no. They ruled the play dead. That play is dead, and the oh, Lowell, right the Lowell coach is going to have to be institutionalized. Re, I want to replay the Lowell coach. Oh, the poor the Lowell play. coach. We're, we're going to have to get papers on the Lowell coach. Yep, yeah, there's yeah, the his knee. knee. His knee is definitely down. Oh, yeah, Coach Florence is not right. happy. <laughs> he is not happy. Let's, let's get a replay to Lowell coach. I'd <laughs> yeah. like to see. Yeah, that, 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 that Lowell there. coach is... <laughs> Yeah, that's Coach Florence right there with the red sleeves. Yeah, I'll tell you, very demonstrative coaching staff, to say All the right. least. First and goal on the one. Watch Nate Sullivan. I'd say a, a keeper might be in order here. They run a little. Oh! Hey! Oh, can you believe that? No, oh. wait a minute. That's Wait a minute, they haven't called a touchdown. They, they haven't called a touchdown. Let's see the replay here. That ref never called it. Let's see what's there going on There it is. Here. That's Hogarth. Oh, no, that's Kelly. what a catch. Oh, he did call it. His hands did go that's up. We didn't a, see that's it. That's not a good touchdown call. He's, ref. he's, got, he's got to go back to ref school. And, uh, <laughs> touchdown, A.B. Sean Kelly what with the reception. What a throw and catch. That ball was put perfect. 
I don't think I've seen a season where I've seen more of our receivers steal balls from the from the uh, defensive backs than I have this year. Kick is up and is good with 8.08 to go in the third quarter, and A.B. goes up 21-7. That's a big time drive. All right, I love it. Let's take a look at the uh, comparisons with these two teams. Max Let's Preps. Let's that replay one more okay. time. Okay, oh, well, there's, there's a, a kick. kick. Let's see if we can get the pass one more time. Now, Look at that, because yeah, Sean seven. Kelly just stole the ball. Yep. I mean, and he really just stole the ball. And this is where having the ball to start <laughs> the second half is coming in into play of being a big factor. Back to Boxborough now up by 14 points. 20 minutes left in the game. Now we got to see how well Lowell responds. Let's see what kind of offensive package they put out in this second half. I'd like to see that touchdown. Well, let's, let's run this kickoff. I'd like to see that touchdown one more time. Here we go. Here's a quick view of that touchdown. Look at him steal this ball. Look at this. Oh, yeah. See, I saw one foot. There's two feet. Here's yep, he got them both the in. Off. He kicks a bullet down the middle and a little hesitation on the reception there. And this is the play you get nervous about, but well covered by AB. You get the little hesitation. Right, right. The right. right. And, then, and then suddenly you see a guy all by himself on the 40 yard line. It's, it's all a right. timing game. Good right. field position for Lowell about the 37 and a half. And that's the second time they have tried to field a ball that has bounced in front of the returner. That's gutsy. Well, it's a kickoff. It's not a punt. You got you got to you got to play it. Okay. Here's Ty with the with the keeper wow, around the edge. You, you great see defense. A B playing a different Tie defense the now. They're playing all up. They're playing the amoeba defense. And that is, that has worked Watch so this. well for them. The amoeba defense is back for A B. <laughs> I love that. I love that term. I love it. Yeah. Because that's exactly what it looks like. There's no single they bring the safety in. They they is right up. Everybody's up. There's, there's no safety. All right, now they isolate, they got, oh! You think the wind took that one? There's a flag here, we got a little extracurricular activity. Let's see what the call is here. We have a personal, no. Almost looks like Both penalties offset. Looks like offsetting yeah. penalties, yep. Yeah. All right. It's a good call for the Red Raiders, but they just don't have the passing accuracy, so it's worth the risk, in my opinion, to just run that. Well, I didn't, I didn't even realize that uh, Ty could throw the ball that far down the field after seeing, seeing him uh, on tape and uh, tonight. Oh, they're, uh, calling, they're, they're doing it against A.B. They're marking it off. Personal foul. Personal foul. walk it off. 15. Uh, the ref basically adds 20, divides by two, backs it off three yards, and we arrive at the, at the 47. Is that a 48 yard line? Is that, did he use pie? I think he might have gone pie squared on that one. First and 10. I think the ref they're, says they're that's not right. To, they're just be, trying uh, to figure out. I think they're off a yard. Yeah, they I are think it be just trying to get it right. This is like an SAT test. Yeah, see the, see the ref pointing yeah, to the yeah, 47? Exactly. I think it's the 47. Yeah. And the march of the Penguins continues here. Oh, wait, oh, that's a 20 yard? Yeah, oh my goodness. It'd be the march of the zebras. <laughs> <laughs> well, they look like penguins, they look like zebras. Well, there you go, we're at the 44, go figure that out. But anyhow, first and 10, the Red Raiders are in colonial territory. Okay, first and 10, first and 10, Raiders. All right, Ty with the keeper off tackle. Yeah. Pachillo on the wow, Nick Pachillo. Look at Nick Pachillo on that this. play. I'll tell you, that's a, this is a football play. Ty, this is a tough kid. 
But take a look at Pacillo coming in and just nailing him with a perfect tackle. Nice adjustment. I think one of the adjustments in this amoeba is Pacillo delays his read and then nice after tease on tie. Let's see if we uh, carry that through. Here we go. A little delayed. Oh, there and go. there he yes, is. I told you, Patillo's just and, waiting and, on him. He's you know, not attacking. I mean, he, you know, he's a, he's spying. He's spying uh, Ty right now. Here's he's a, a spy man. Watch this. It looked like Ty just kind of sought out Pacillo and decided to run right into him. There you go. Boy, I tell you, that is a collision. All right, third down and five. You gotta love the way how AB is respecting Ty as a runner. Ty with the attempt to throw way off. The wind is definitely a factor uh, in the second half. Well, I don't, I don't, think, I don't half. think Ty needs the wind to be <laughs> inaccurate. Honest to good, good No, but news. I'm just putting yeah, that, that yeah, ball's yeah, another four yeah, yards that, off that with the wind. That you didn't know. help. You don't. All you right, don't. they're going for it. Fourth down. All and right, five. gutsy call from the. Just inside the 40. Now they line up trips, right? They haven't seen this. I don't think they have lined up in this. What do you think they're going to do there, Tim? You know, I think they're going to run an ISO to the right. It's a little tear. And it's not a first down. They wow. caught him short, and the ball is going to turn Ooh. over to AB. Wow. Good defensive play. Watch this. See if the Red Raiders coach jumps uh, once up and again. Down on this. And there you go. Take a look at that. Oh, he just hangs on. Look at that. Wow. That's a football play. That is a great play. Jed Hogger doing it on both sides of the field here. And stopping Lowell from getting a first down. Yeah, Hogard can catch the ball, but he can also catch opposing players well, too. Well, he just hung, hung he just hung on for dear life. I mean, thank goodness for the strength of that fabric, uh, because uh, that stopped the first down, and we take over. And there's 6:08 to go, halfway through the third quarter. Do you think we're going to see more running plays now? I mean, we definitely saw the effectiveness of Barrowet that when he carries that ball. Oh, well, he ran option. I like the option play, and I, I, think that, I think they should run a counter, and I think that should mix it up a little bit. I wonder if a fly Keep would work guessing. tonight. <laughs> All right, Nate, back to pass, a little blitz, he gets it out, almost intercepted. Pass. Yeah, that was uh, that was uh, Kevin Yurtry on the uh, second and ten defense, but Sullivan was under extreme pressure on that corner blitz. It's one of very few blitzes tonight. By yeah, that was that Lowell. was that was not picked up. That was a straight sprint right into Sullivan's face. Play action. They got shot. Oh, Kelly that's a flag. A oh, flag. where's that flag? flag? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They gave him a There's hip a check. Hey, look, take a look at this. This is a hip check. Hard. I mean, he should be two minutes in the penalty box. Look at that hip. Right there. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I don't know who coaches these Red Ra uh, Raider cornerbacks, but they, they don't play they don't like play the, they, they don't play the ball. They play quarterbacks like maybe I would. <laughs> Just gonna wave your hands and don't turn your head. All right, third down and ten. Good time for a screen. Oh, out of bounds. Nothing there. Yeah, Alex, Alex Barrowit, if we see a replay on this, Barrowit just got steamrolled on that blitz. He just couldn't pick it up. And that puts Sullivan in a position of just having to throw the ball away. Take a look at this. Just runs right over Barrowit. He's a big dude, and Nate just had to get the ball away. 
And that is actually, but that's three straight incompletions. Oh my! Wow, that ball was blocked. Wow, Ty had a very gutsy fair catch there at the 47-yard uh, line. That, that is pretty much almost like a, just that's a turnover, basically. And Lowell takes over uh, in A-B territory. Yeah, the wind, the wind really is picking up right now. Yeah, it's quite, it's just two different weather patterns. It's 10 degrees colder and it's, we got a little 15, 20 mile an hour wind going right uh, That's exactly what they forecast. So having this game start at six, is probably not a bad idea. <laughs> I'll say this, when I saw Coach Bassett down at the field for pregame warmups, he was stuffing hand warmers into his gloves. All right. they. Run a uh, fake fly to tie and a little off tackle run. That's a good play. We didn't see that the first half. That's the play that gave the Patriots a lot of problems <laughs> a, couple, a week and a half ago. Here's the basically a pistol. Yeah, there you go, play. right? And that's Finn at quarterback faking the tie and Yazari with about a seven yard gain. AB not in their amoeba. With Aiden uh, at quarterback, and again, another 15-yard run. Kid's a very, very strong Number runner. Number 61, Spencer Alexander on good, the tackle. Good, good speed. Super Raider, first down. Tough, finds his way, makes a nice cut. Has a lot of open territory before Spencer Alexander corrals him. And they're out of the way, off tackle, another eight yards. I think... Uh, Zari on the carry. Zari on the carry there. I think Lowell is, we back up, those so safety off, safeties three. off, they're gonna run. And that's what, see, you watch the AB defense right now. We're off the ball 10 yards in a okay, cover. Okay, now we're adjusting. Oh, oh what a hit, Zari. A second and third effort, Gazari. Inside the 10 to the 8 yard line. Yeah, they said he was a really line. tough kid, and you can see it right here. 190 pounds. By looks like a looks like a wrestler, and take a look at that. Whoa, Ooh, that's, a, that's almost a helmet to helmet hit there. Yazari picks up another four or five yards. Well, now we got a red head raider down. A very physical game. <clears throat> it looks like uh, can't quite tell who's hurt here. Red Raider at the midfield. Let's uh, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back, folks. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, A.B. All right, welcome back, everybody. It's 21-7. Uh, the Raiders have been marching down the field here with their run game. We got a hurt player. And Mark, it's uh, getting cold and it's windy. 
<laughs> it sure is. <laughs> when you say it's gone down 10 degrees, I think you're absolutely right. It's just a reminder. Of look that, look um, at that Saturday moon. Sunday this week, That's that uh, post-harvest moon, and we got a full moon tonight. Conan School starts on Saturday at 11, starts on Sunday at 10 a.m. Okay, that's that big number, 75. Big tackle. That's, uh, yep, and he is not putting any pressure on that right leg. That's Jeremiah Santana. Okay. That kid is a heck of a tackle. He's not the, uh, the 77 is the bigger player, yeah, but this they've kid's been running up, behind this kid all well, night. Well, this kid's listed at 230, but yeah. he looks bigger than 230. He looks closer to 250. He looks taller than 5'11". Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to me, too. Yeah. All right. You got to appreciate everything he's done in this game. Oh, yeah. He's had a heck of a game First opening up a lot of holes. goal for the Raiders just inside the 10-yard line. Aiden at quarterback. And good off tackle He's run. Right on the carry. All right, they're right on the doorstep tackle. now. Trying to make it a one possession play. game. Once again, Gazzari has really managed the load on this drive. You see Ty with a great block at the second level on that play. Second and goal on the three. And three. now I would just put Ty in and have him do what he does and go straight ahead. You got, you got three downs to score. There's Ty, weaving it out, and touchdown, Lowell. Well, we, we, had, a, we had a chance, but uh, quick feet. And Lowell scores, and an extra point will make this a seven-point game. Look at those quick feet. Alexander almost had him. And then he really avoids, the end, yeah, uh, and he waltzes into the end zone. Yeah, I just noticed one of our AV medical staff is going over to Lowell's sideline with a pair of crutches. So yeah, that's too that, bad. That is a very bad injury for 75 if they need those. All right, the extra point is no good. No good. That's a big no miss good. because that makes it an eight-point differential here with 334 to go in the third quarter. And for Lowell to uh, tie this game, they're going to have to get a two-point conversion. Here's the touchdown again. Let's take a look at this. It's a great run. Good block. There's Spencer getting in and almost getting, a, getting around him. Sean Kelly just can't get to him. And Ty yeah. gets another touchdown. Yeah, Kelly, I think, cut a little too much on that play. He didn't give himself time, the ability to react when. But, I, but I'll tell you, even even if route. Kelly were there, uh, that's that's not an even fight. I think Ty would have gotten into the end zone. Well, I'm eager to see what the AB offense does because Sullivan had three incompletions in that last drive. So I want to see how he bounces back and what play calling they use. Four to go in the third quarter. 21-13. One score game, and here we go. And they kick it. Swift down the middle again. And AB returns up to the 34. First and 10. Okay, that kickoff handled by Christian Young. Good first Christian game. Young with the return again. Return of about five. Got two returns tonight. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Normally it's normally it's Kelly and Brady that are back there to receive. Well, these he's things. he's kind of an up man. Yeah, he's the up so, man. Yeah. He's just getting the ball. Tim, you've been a coach for a long time. What do you? What would your play call be for the start of this drive? Well, I think uh, you know it's it's you take what you can get here I think uh, the Raiders looks like they're playing a little more uptight so they're they're basically leaving the long ball up for us I think it's uh you know we're gonna have to run the deep seams I still like to see us establish a, some sort of a power run to to eat up some clock in this game and they try to fly and what a great play 
Wow! Oh, it's the, and it's the double option. I love that. The double option, the fly option, as they call it. <laughs> Take a look at this play. I don't think I've ever seen A.B. I uh, never, 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 oh. never, never. Nice job by Brady on that one. He got the defender, which I believe was Teague, to bite. And once that was that, he's like, all right, give the ball to Barrowette, let him finish Barrow, it off. Big time play. Barrowette's making up for that first half with some long plays. First and 10 in Lowell territory on the 38 yard line. And you see Lowell now with the defense with everybody, you know, got four safeties 10 yards off the ball. And there's a keeper with Sullivan, he gets outside. And wow, they closed in quick, but I think that far most is gonna be better. Yeah, it's gonna be right down the 35 yard line. That's where they should spot it, right at the 35. Here's the replay here, you see. Nate, Nate's with a with a few moves of his own, trying to I love what trying he did to do to a little stiff arm there. <laughs> I love what he did to Teague right there. He just pushed him down from the helmet. We should be able to run off tackle with this defense. Here's there's a seam route. Oh, I is think that I think that's out? an incomplete pass. Incomplete, incomplete okay. pass. And here's a replay. That's good. Okay, good, uh, let's see. Let's see if this is incomplete. The low coaching staff. Oh boy, I tell you. Wow. That was close. That was close. He didn't make a football move though. You have to make that football move. Second. Is that right? Second down? Second, yes. Yeah. Second, Second and seven. seven. No, third. It's third, third, down. third down. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Third and seven. Uh, I think they're coming. I think they're coming. Oh. Let's see. Here they yeah. come. And he gets it off. That what a was... great play by Nate Sullivan. Are you I talking love the about? But that that is a that's a quarterback play under pressure. Are you talking about pocket presence here? He just looked, he looked at the defender right in the eye and said, a little jump pass action to get over him. And there we go, first and 10. Beautiful that play be by best, Sullivan. I think that's one of the best throws he's had all year. Because Absolutely. Of Fantastic, first and 10. Little delay, draw, like that call. All right, that's what, that's what you're looking for. I want to tell you, if I, were, if I were Nate Sullivan in that situation and I saw that, I would start crying like a baby. <laughs> you know, but he got that <laughs> pass off and he, got, he hit that hot receiver. All right, let's look, let's look at that play. Uh, that pass play again, Seven under pressure again. Nate Sullivan. Look at that. Look at that. Watch Just him after the up. play, takes a hit. And you know when you hear about the recession while you're lying on the ground, it's a pretty good play by the quarterback. Second and eight. Little backside pressure, but he completes the throw again. All and right. The pressure. And that was a this bullet. Kid. Pass complete. That, ball ju that ball the just. Pocket. That ball Here's just zipped through the wind. Watch, watch Tim DePaulo the on the reception. The blind side blitz is coming. Boom. I'm, I think there's that. Oh, wow. Tim DePaulo with a great reception. DePaulo always comes up with a play every game. Somewhere along the line, he's going to be there. For and there was a little uh, horse collar, little horse collar action there that could have been called. But yeah, DePaulo, no catches in the first half, but he's got two for 14 in yards so far. He's always been a reliable option behind the starters. All right, Nate, got the outside again. Keep running, Nate, keep running. There you and go, good. When you keep it against low, you pay for it, but he got up the scene there. 
Taken down by number 70. Here's the replay. Watch this. Got, okay. I think he got about four or five yards and here. And the we're the at the quarter. end of the third quarter very quickly. <laughs> and it's time, of course, to mention all our sponsors. And we've got a lot of sponsors, Tim. We've got some good people, some good folks. And we've got, oh yeah, we got Acton Pharmacy, Dunkin' Donuts, Gallant Insurance, Huntington Learning Center, Medical Aesthetic, Shire, Kate Upstein, PC, Steinberg Lally Charitable Foundation, and TC Landos, our sponsors, we love you. Thank you sponsors for everything you do for us. And I love the banner, the sponsor banner on the Acton TV truck. Well, yes, we do love our sponsors, and here's another thing I know you guys are going to love. Barrowette in the third quarter alone, he is averaging 14 yards a carry with three carries for 42 yards. All right, making up for lost time. Great quarter for Alex Barrowette, and they also had a reception, right? Yeah, for 38 yards. Okay, so that's 80 yards of offense in Just the third quarter. Just as a quarter. quarter, that's what we said coming into the second half. We said... It's like, it take Alex. number nine a couple times in the morning and call me. Be <laughs> later. All right. Thank you, Doc. Second and five. I, I love the little coaching I see by Jerry McGavick down there. He's talking to Barrowett on how to, like, do blocking. Katarino uh, made something rolling out. There's a flag There's a on the flag. play. Complete. Is that, that looked like almost like a defensive holding type flag. Let's see what they call. Yeah, it was an early flag. I... Sorry, Devin, Devin offensive, German. Offensive interference. Wow. Offensive pass interference. Well, that's going to bring it way back. So yeah, they're going to go from the seven all the way. Yeah, that's a that's a very costly penalty. That brings it all the way back to the 22-yard line, and they've got to just about get to the end zone for a first down. You can pretty much call it second and goal at this point. But they've showed that they can do it. All right, Alex Barrow was out of the. That last play, Devin German was in playing running back, and now he's back in. Well, yeah, like I said, Barrowhead, he was getting some sideline coaching from Coach McGavick on, like, how to do blocking more effectively. We did see he had some blocking problems earlier in the half. Second and 20, more than 20, second and 20, 25 on the 22-yard line. Let's see if McGavick's little magic worked. All right, little option play, and uh, good, stop. good defensive play by Ty. Yeah, yeah Ty is just, Ty. he's just a football player. Here's the play, Ty Look breaks down. Barrowett trying, Barrowit. trying to do a little shimmy shake on him, but just couldn't do it. All right, third down and 25. This is a big play. All right, they're going to call a timeout, talk it over. Timeout. Can, can we get our max prep uh, comparison here with Lowell and uh, Acton Boxborough, see if we can bring that up? Max Prep uh, is an organization that deals with all the high school teams in the country and rates each of them uh, by state and through the country. So I don't know if we can get a comparison between Lowell and uh, Acton Boxborough. If but we bring up the Max Prep, that would be, uh, I, I love that graphic. Uh, we'll see if we can get the, there they are. Okay, so you see what they don't have is uh, number 61 uh, rating for Lowell and number 75 for AB, but it has your league rating it has your home and away. And the big stat that I see is that Lowell is 0-4 on the road. They have not yet won on the road. And uh, 
Right now, it looks like uh, if things stay the way they are, uh, they're still going to remain winless on the road. But uh, as far as uh, common opponents, uh, AB is 3-0, and and Lowell 2-1 and with that loss to Mathura. All right, in the I formation, AB back to pass, no blitz. They throw it long, and DePaulo fell down. Not sure what happened That's there when they got tripped up there. Ty was on him. Brings up fourth down. Bring up fourth down. Well, interesting. Here's you, the replay here. Little, I don't know what happened with Tim there. Yeah, he just he just uh, slipped, and the defender uh, fell over him. No, no harm, no foul. And they're going for it on fourth down. Too, too long a field goal to try. And they're going to throw it in the end zone. Low showing blitz. And here they come. Oh, it's a touchdown! Tim DePaulo with another bullet. Another bullet by Nate Sullivan on the run, throwing it to the only place where they could score, and that was a fraction of a fraction of a second. Look at this, Nate Sullivan being flushed out. He's got to run to his right. It's almost like he's going to throw it out of bounds, but he sees DePaulo, and look at that throw. That is pretty, and it just beats the outstretched arms of Ty, and Ty could not get to it. Wow. Four and touchdowns on the day for Sullivan. Good. So with 11.02 to go in the game, KB 28-13. Put and that extra point up, will you folks? All okay. right, did it. And I think history was just made, Tim, because this may be the first time that an AB quarterback has had back-to-back -back four touchdown games. Finn Murray, for all his greatness last year, did not have consecutive games where he threw four touchdowns. Nate Sullivan just did it. And Whoa, Nate Ty, Sullivan, Ty came so close Nate to Sullivan tipping that Nate Sullivan probably had ball. his coach in his ear saying, put some air under that ball. Well, yeah, and he did drop that right in there. That, that was, was a beautiful something. football play. He has thrown some perfect passes tonight. Well, I'll say this, in this half alone, he has 100 four yards, two touchdowns, and, and he is, let me see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He is eight of 15 in the completion of our game. Well, I'll tell you, it's really, really just the third quarter because there's 11.02 yet to go in the fourth quarter. So he's done all that in basically one quarter. Oh, yeah. All right, they kick it up short. And AB breaks down. See, we get that coverage we need there. Oh, yeah, and we yes. sure do. We sure do. Ty with the return. He's wrapped up at about the 30. 39, 38. On the tackle, number 29, Tyler Clayton. Yeah, 39. Tim, it's it just been so impressive the way they have handled Ty this game because this kid has had monster games against some of the great teams, against St. John, two touchdowns against Central Catholic, and uh, we have held him in check. I mean, he's going to get his 100 yards, but uh, has not, had not had any real breakaways yet. Well, in this quarter, in the third quarter, he only had seven yards he on the three keeper. carries. Oh, tackle, he breaks away. Oh, my God, that was prophetic. Mark, as... He goes all the way to the house. No okay. flags. Okay. I, well, with I, that, he does I, have his 100 yards. I, I, do, I do apologize for, for jinxing the team here. Here's the play. Watch this. This kid. 62-yard run right here. 62 yards. And look at that hesitation and basically put Sean Kelly on his butt and just went down the sideline. Great block there on Graham Brady, and Pitterino just can't run him down. And Ty, once again, that's almost obligatory for Ty. The extra point is good, and it is 28 to 20. 
Still a ball game, a one possession game here in the wow. fourth quarter. And yeah, that's, he's... that's what I was afraid of because that's what I've seen this kid do that time and time again this year. And uh, he's one of the best football players in Massachusetts. Look that once cut. again, and once again, look at where he hesitates. At this point, he hesitates, puts well, John Kelly Jeff back, cut there. and Beautiful. look at that. Well, here's one takeaway to come away from it. He does now have 137 yards and that one touchdown in the third quarter. And I believe he also had a touch. Yep, he did have a touchdown in the first half as well, but it took 16 carries to get him to that amount of yardage. Yep. And I'm pretty sure he has definitely got it up to that yardage before with less carries. All right, time for AB to come back and answer. A lot of time left, 10.44. A lot of time. AB's going to have to work to put this game away now. That jump cut was, a, was something. Think a squib kick's going to be coming up? I think a little, maybe a little too early for that. Plenty of time. I wouldn't, but we'll see. AB, uh, you can see AB moving up a little bit. And they squib it down. Nice little cut up the sideline there. Goes. All right, a good return. Okay, Tim DiPaolo on the return. AB takes over, first and 10. Good field position. They can, they can work here from the 37 yard line. Well, let's see how much more of a factor DiPaolo is because he's got three care etches for 39 yards, including that 25-yard touchdown home to end the last drive. And that's all in the second half, right, Will? Yeah, that's all second half. He didn't catch the ball at all in the first. Well, it's amazing. Jed Hogard had that amazing first half. He hasn't caught a ball yet in the second half. Well, they've got, a, they've got a lot of depth at receiver. All right, first and 10. I'd love to see Hogard catch another pass. On the 36, and Alex Barrowett. Nice little run as he cuts Alex back Barrowett over the middle. Carry. It's about five yards. A very efficient run here. Watch this. Good for Just cutting down. across the green here, going back Four, toward the up, middle. Boy, six. that's a Big guy, number 58, big dude. Yeah, that is Nathan and Kern. Nathan Kern, 6'1", 225. If, I, if he's 6'1", 225, then I'm 5'4", 130. <laughs> See Coach Bassett yelling over to Sullivan from the sideline. There's Jed Hogard in the middle. Yeah, he finally, Coach Bassett finally heard me. He called a play to Hogard. <laughs> uh, didn't gain much. No, it looks like be, a yard or two. Be an important <laughs> third down <laughs> conversion <laughs> coming up. Here's the replay. Just a little bubble screen here. And yeah, uh, he didn't. Uh, Kelly. Kelly, Kelly, yeah, that. You what you do, you need you need that one blocker to make that one block on that bubble screen to free you. Didn't happen. All right, third and five. There's the blitz, he throws the ball, he's got Hogarth lost, oh. and there, that's a flag, I no, believe. No, there's no flag, no foul on that play. I, I see the replay there, I think he, uh, I don't know if we'll have a close enough shot, watch this. Nah, that was good, uh, good defense. He, I guess he didn't touch him just yeah, until good after defense. the ball. Good call. Well, oh, flag, flag on the play. That looks like it might be on the uh, coaches, huh? <laughs> we could use right, something right, like that. Happens. And the ball is flown dead. Ball to 39. It was, it was, short thrown, it was thrown right at the uh, 
at the bench there at the, at the low sideline. So you have to think it's against Lowell. Let's see if they mark it off. Lowell's marching okay. back pretty Personal far. Foul right. against Lowell, yeah. Okay, that makes up for the kick. They're marking there's off the here. kick. So yeah, there's the ball, punted away. And there's a personal foul. And yep, nothing there really from the. Oh, oh yeah, there oh yeah, there you see it. There that you was number see it. That's seven Kevin for us. Yuzari. Kevin Yuzari with a with a uh, kind of just chopping at the AB player. Yeah, that's selfish right there. You just hurt your team and cost them major yardage. Yeah, you've got, you've got a close game here. You've got a one possession game. You can't do that. All right, first and 10. And tie at quarterback. Trying to throw AB yeah, on the side. Go for another hard count. And he's just going to take it off tackle. And a good oh, second and good third play, effort. Good play. And AB covers it up at there. Maybe a two yard gain. Two, three yards. 61. Spencer Alexander. Good job. You know, Ty reminds me. There's a replay. Ty, Ty looks like an old time football player. He just, he looks like a foot, he looks like a, you know, like a Dick, Dick Butkus Brock on the Gursky. Old, you know, old Chicago Bear, New York Giants football Wrong player. Kid. I wouldn't want to get in a fight with him at nah, a No, nah, he's, and speed, com combination of speed and strength and uh, el elusiveness. Well, it took three AB players to finally bring him down. Second and nine, and Couple yard gain there. Number right. seven. Big third down play. This is not a great third down team, I gotta tell you. I think that's one of their real weaknesses. All right, third and 11. 7.36 to go in a game. 28-20, one score game here. Huge play, huge play in this game. And look at Coach Bassett, A.B. in the amoeba defense with this kind of score on a third and 11, and he plays aggressive. With Ty in a quarterback, he's playing up. Let's see if they throw it here. Ty, back the pass, he's looking deep. He's got a man open. It's number two. And Pedrino Oh my it. goodness. We got a game here. Ty turns around and throws a perfect strike. What a shot to Jacob Rivers. And you're wondering when is Rivers going to be part of this game? And he just outran Pitorino. It was very close, but right at the end, Rivers just all right. Outran him, and they're going to go for two, I'm of sure. Of course, and ties in at quarterback, as you would expect. This is a pretty good two-point conversion team, you would think, with Ty. And they go with the, here's the old Chelmsford lineup with the two blockers behind the line. He goes behind a power formation, and, and he gets in. the and we got a tie. Game. We got a tie game, and we, you know, we said this right at the beginning. We felt that these two teams were very, very closely matched, and we're going to have a real barn burner. That's exactly what we have. We got a holding call against Lowell, and that is going to change everything here because this is a long two point conversion now. It's 13 yards. Wow. Well, what, what kind of play do you think they're going to do now with this uh, type of scenario? Well, maybe Ty's found his passing arm. Well, I want to tell <laughs> you, he re he surprised me with that throw. I didn't I didn't think he had it in him. Well, yeah, that was a 77-yard touchdown reception right there. Here's the play again. Uh, that's oh, here's the. Not yeah, sure I don't. I was. didn't see quite where the hold was. It's almost like track where the flag was when you have that many players bunched up. Hogard got held at the end of the line, I believe, here. 
trusty uh, Rick from the truck. Well, thank you, thank you, our, our staff from the truck. Eyes in the truck, as they say. All right. Lowe well, looks very uh, disorganized here, but... Well, they've got two wide outs, three wide outs out, two on the right, one on the left. Running pistol, so to speak. All right, Ty, back the pass, moves around. He's got a little bit of running room here, and he's gonna reverse course. He's got nobody on the other side of the field. And he's gonna make his way. Oh, he stopped sure. at the one yard sure. line. Oh my, what, what an effort. Is the Play of the game. <laughs> what an effort. That was the 22nd play. Look I, at this. I have to give him yeah, you credit. Know, you know what, we don't even have to say anything. Just watch it. We said at the beginning, this is this is one guy who's a man playing with boys. That's what he was last year, and he almost brought it in at the one yard line. And you see him make that jump cut again? Yep, he's that, really. That's a trademark. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's, that's the galloping ghost, right? Wow. Yeah, that was number 51. That was Sean Tobin who tackled Sean him, Tobin, preventing a tie you. game. Thank you, Sean. And if you run, if you run this, uh, oh, we're gonna run a touchdown here. And he just, little, little post route. And it's the perfect play against that defense, Mark. We've had two big time plays from Lowell where you and I, called it beforehand a little bit. You know, I called the amoeba defense and the right play to attack it would be a post. Exactly. And uh, and there you go. But I want to say that that two point conversion attempt when Ty reverse course, there was only one AB player. I know, on the other and, side. I'm, and I'm saying he's going to get into the end zone. Yeah. And wow. Sean yeah. Tobin, way right. to go. Was, I was not able to catch who the first tackle attempt was made by, but Tobin Offside. Yeah, that's yes, offside. Yes, offside. Yeah. Big time. Uh, that was funny. I was yeah. going to say that. that so you reverse course only one AB player. AB did a nice job of res quickly responding and getting a couple of additional players over there in pursuit. And uh, they're going to push Lowell back after that. They were offside by a by, by about a four yards. <laughs> I say three or four yards. Wow. Normally, you know, you never see yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, somebody just didn't get the memo. <laughs> hey, we're kicking off. I think they were Wait. cold. Wait, they're the getting run. back <laughs> of the white line. All right. 6.58 to go, 28-26. And they kick down the middle of the squib. And Pedrino gets a nice little surge close to midfield about the 48 yard line. Oh, that's First just attack. what the doctor ordered. A about good return. Pitarino picks up that bounce. It's a true bounce and we're almost at the 50. So just under seven minutes left in this game. The wind is still a factor. It may have actually helped, helped uh, Ty on that throw because he wasn't throwing against the wind. <laughs> Yeah, it could have, could have very well. Uh, the important thing is if you score a touchdown and you kick the extra point, you make it a two, you make it a two possession game and that, that'll, that makes all the difference here in the fourth quarter. The key is to get seven points here. All right. Ball at the 49. Graham oh, Brady, yeah. ball in and out of his hands there. A little quick little. Second and 10. It's getting, it's getting, uh, it's getting colder, <laughs> and that ball is getting heavier. Yeah, advantage team with the run game. <laughs> Uh, Lowell, in that regard. All right, second and ten. All 
right, Barrow gets to the outside, and he's going to have one man to beat, and out of bounds after a 15-yard run. And that keeps it going, a first down. Flag on the play, so let's watch for the flag. I don't think this is good news for Acton Boxborough. Uh, typically it's not. 6.39 to go. Let's see. Yeah, the ref is facing the wrong way. <laughs> As he walks it off. Block in the back. And they'll walk it off from the spot of the foul. It'll be second down. And well, actually, it wasn't seven. too bad. Second and seven. It could <laughs> it could be worse. You know, when they mark it off from the spot of the foul, and you're way downfield to begin with. Very makeable second down here. And it's a keeper with Nate Sullivan down the sideline. Whoa! The <laughs> And that Nate had an extra gear that play. Who was that? That was a, a, Lamar Jackson, right? Watch this play. He just. I don't think I've ever seen him run that fast this, this season. No, Nate, Nate's got this up to speed. He is, you know, I mean, he's got decent speed. When he, when he turns to ourselves, he's, he's yeah, got some He juice. really does. He, he can move. All right. Well, that's Sullivan's biggest carry so far of the night for 10. Ball on the 37, first and 10 Yeah, you won't, you won't see Tom Brady doing that. Maybe Brady could learn a thing or two out of Sullivan's <laughs> right, playbook. Yeah. All right, now, look at the, the uh, Raiders up close. This is a passing opportunity, and... Uh, that was yeah, blocked, I think that was it incomplete, looked like. Wasn't it? Blitz. Incomplete. Yeah, incomplete. Just as well, that would have been a loss. With that defense, uh, let's see if they line up again like that. I think you run a seam route or a uh, post uh, with Jed. Well, you've, you've got nobody back there. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's, look I at mean, how they're lined up. See, they're, they're saying, hey, run it. Yeah, they got Tapalo and Hogard off on the right side. Now they drop back. Sean Kelly intended yeah. for Sean Kelly well, well and a defended. nice defensive play. Well defended. It looked like it was open for just a second or so and then that opening just closed up quickly and it's third and 10. Good defensive adjustments by uh, Lowell in this and, series. And you have to believe if we don't complete this pass, Tim, from the 38, I would, I would kick the ball. Interesting, I, you know, field position is at, at this temperature. I think that's a good, good call. But Coach well, let's, Bassett. Let's, let's hope we don't have to make that decision. The last time it was fourth down, they scored a touchdown. All right. Oh, first okay, down. Okay, that's the way to do it. That negates any, any decision that you have to make. First and 10. Clock ticking away, 5.16 to go in the game. Nick Priscillo in, he's gonna be lining up at tight end, I suppose. Sullivan talking with the coaches. One thing about Nate Sullivan that I've realized all year long is that he has such a calm demeanor at quarterback. He just doesn't have happy feet. He doesn't panic. He just kind of keeps a very steady demeanor about it. Yeah, I, I, well, I'll say this too, because Sullivan had four straight incompletions before that pass. When it, the last time he had four straight incompletions, his next pass was a, t was a first down. I saw the Alex same thing. Barrowett. And he gets caught from oh, behind. Yeah, no game. Yeah, behind the line of scrimmage. And low. <laughs> You Here's can the tell Watch there's a this. timeout. Timeout, Raiders. And once again, look at Ty coming all the way across the field, chasing Barrowett down. This kid puts in 
tremendous like effort. He's going to be playing somewhere in the next level. We some some college team's going to be very happy to have him. I agree. I, I think he's the kind of player where his his stats in college will be better than high school. <laughs> yeah. No, he can uh, he can just do you know, so many things. Yeah. So that play, I believe we pulled a right guard, right tackle, and Ty just followed the play, and he's quick enough to uh, to get there before the play develops. Yeah, he just he, well, he put on he just basically put on his GPS, and he saw where he had to go, and just just made the made the turn. He made the curve. Well, we're down to 428, second 11 from the 26 for AB. Second 11, AB in control if they can march down yeah, and score. They just need a couple more first downs and they, they're in. Four and a half minutes left. Back to pass. He's under under the rest and Brady. 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 Yeah. Good once Coming again. Across. Good coverage. Tough throw to me. Yeah. Pass ball is incomplete. Coverage and low is getting better. Separation isn't quite there, and it's third down. Third and eleven. Very little time off the clock there, 422, plenty of time. Yeah, and here, here of course you go on fourth down if you don't make it on the 26 yard line. And that's a calculus. So that's a big, big difference between the 26 and the 38. You might run draw. Nope. Jed Hogarth! Down Wide the sideline! And oh yes, we got a first down. Wow! What a what a play call by Coach Bassett. Jed Hogard has been literally all by himself on about four receptions and made a great play after catch here. And the clock is counting down 3:54. Yeah, smart play by Hogard to stay in bounds. And as I said, you get a touchdown and you kick that point, that makes it a nine point game. You've just about put this game away in that case. All right. Yeah. This time, power eye. And Alex Barrowitt. Gets a good three yards up the middle of that time. Right on the Forces okay, the Red Raiders to call a timeout. All right, they're going to kill timeouts. Timeout, Raiders. You know, with these new rules, you don't have those unlimited timeouts <laughs> that you used to have where you would count you them never in the teams. You know, it's like 18 timeouts. So I think you, you just get like three timeouts here. Yeah, Barrowood is one yard short of averaging seven yards a carry in this second half. Well, it's a good half for Alex. Yeah, he's got seven carries for 48 yards. Second and eight there, huh? Looks like he had a, another, I thought, I thought that was a three yard gain, but not the spot. And Hogard's coming along late in this half, I mean, He's responsible for the last 26 yards in the passing game yeah, for AB. Big catches, absolutely big catches. As our last home game, we're going to be in Westford on Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, Mark, I know how you thought this game was going to be in Lowell. That'd be a home game for you. Yeah, yeah, I could, <laughs> well, walk, the, I could walk to the game almost. I'm still always yeah. going to be an AB fan, <laughs> but I do live in Westford now, yeah. so that game will yeah, be a so, home uh, game okay. for me. You're, you're forgiven, Will. Right. But I still will always bleed blue and gold. All right, read option, and they do give it to Alex Barrowitt as he pounds his oh, way. Touchdown! I will not be denied. No, he's no, on the no, one, no. which may be 4 to 
the one yard line. Oh man. There's the play. Look at that. I thought he was in. Oh, what a block. And look at that stop and step. And he just eludes two guys there. And he's still hopping around. And he is. Oh, I don't know. I think he broke the plane there. I'd say almost, he, he broke a plane. It's almost like, did the knee come down before the ball placement or something? That's a touchdown. I, well, now I, it's I, one I, I thought he was and in. one. <laughs> I thought he was in. We played, we played that three times, and that looked like that ball was in as the knee was hitting the ground. Wow. No replays in high school. You, you get what you get. Well, now it's first and one. So we have four attempts to put this ball in the end zone. Yeah, I mean, that's the key, is that, that Alex did Time get a first AB. down here. So. Time out, A.B. Good call. I have a good feeling it will not take four attempts to get this ball in. <laughs> we go on the, the replay. replay again. Watch out. All right, take a look. Take a look here. Look at the knee and look at the ball and decide for yourself. He's still up. He's up. He's up. And he's in. I think he's in. Now that was Teague right there who actually did the tackle. So Teague just did another game-saving stop for his team. Well, look at this. Okay, now look, look. He's the knee is up, up, up there. Look at the ball. Whoa! I tell you. Uh, you, you know, it's tough to make those calls in lot in real time. You know, we get the benefit of four slow-mo instant replays here. Rest have to do it in real time. There's Nick Priscilla out there, like you would expect. He's going to line up at that left tight end spot, see if they, we run behind him. And we're All in right. a... Uh, Let's see if we can put this game away here. Come home with a W. Are we in a Wildcat? Looks we're in like a Wildcat yeah. with Barrowit. Yep. There's a fly. Ooh. Oh. Oh my goodness. All right. That. And. What is this? Okay, Lowell has to kill another timeout. That almost looks like a horse collar tackle. The way his arms Here's the stuck right out. Here. All right, there's a fly. Graham Brady heading in, and he has stopped short. Yeah, he has stopped short. Great play. It Did looked Sean like he Kelly? would be looked like he would be in easy. I'm sorry, it was Sean, uh, Kelly. Sean Kelly? Yeah. Yeah, run behind the line screen, and and some Lowell defender just stuck his arm out at the right time. If that didn't happen, he'd be walking in and put six points That's up. A strong tackle. Sean Kelly's a strong kid, and he went down. All right, this game is. Well, you're making. Uh, Lowell kill its timeouts here. I love how you have Coach Jerry McGavick there in that huddle. Oh, they're talking about how to line things up for the runners. Let's see if they go in the Wildcat again. Looks like they will. Wow. Yep, you got Barrowet, and it looks like you also Pitarino in the backfield. An overload left. And Barrowet. Oh, he's not and in he either. And he stopped. Alex Berlant on the carry. Now let's see if Lowell has one more time out here. Here's the replay. Brings up, third down. Angle. And Lowell gets nice penetration there. Oh, that big dude, number 77, 6'4", 260 pounds. Louis uh, Cardine. I would come out. I don't like this uh, Wildcat. Uh, we don't look good in it, uh, even though it makes sense, <laughs> you know, for Barrowit. Well, you've got well, Nate, Nate Sullivan yeah, coming back yeah, in. Yeah, that's, that's the way to do it. When yeah. he's in, you got to think about a lot of things. He can throw. He can he can keep the ball and run. And you got a lot of threat. See how the players spread out now? <laughs> you know, that's much better. Four wide outs. Wait a minute. Oh, penalty. Is that a legal procedure? Oh, Coach Bassett ain't happy about that. So much time. And the indication oh, is delay boy. Game. Delay of game. Whoa. That hurts. 
Well, that's going to make it what? Third and third, seven? Third and six. Third and six for the touchdown. Well, you know, this may be a, a little bit of a blessing because I think AB is a better team yeah, when you've got a little bit of room to little, run the offense. A little bit of open, open, open air in the farm I think there. you have to force this team to kind of run in risky Bassett mode yeah. as opposed to, you know, kind of line up and play smash mouth. We're really not configured that way, so let's see if that it actually transpires. 137 to go in the game, 28, 26. Game on the line, we line up in an eye. This time they have a running back behind him. Okay, now, uh, we've got a time, that might be time on AB. Time out AB, mm -hmm. we didn't like that. Yeah, got to figure out what to do. So you have a lot of questions here. You know, if, if AB doesn't, doesn't make it, do you want to try to kick a field goal to force Lowell into a touchdown? I don't know about number 21, this Ramos, whether he can, uh, whether he's a field goal kicker, because right now a field goal beats you with a, uh, with a two point lead. So with 137 to go and, and pretty much out of timeouts, um, you know, unless you've got Ty breaking one, uh, you may be looking at a possible field goal attempt. Interesting. A lot of, lot of things to, uh, to look at here. Well, do you think like if, if they do get to fourth down, would they risk going for it, trying to drain the clock? Would they try to do that well, to take you seconds you off? Would, you wouldn't take much time off on a, on a fourth down play with the, with the ball turning over. All right, let's get a touchdown. Let's make all this irrelevant. Definitely. Trip left. Raiders show blitz. They come hot. Touchdown! Yes! All right! He rolled in. Jed Hogan. He rolled into the goal line. Oh, sit down right there. Oh, that is five touchdown passes Watch for this. Nate Jed Sullivan. Jed Hogan does a pretzel route. Old Edelman, I'll tell you, that was with perfect timing, touchdown. That was a Julian Edelman play. He went out, he made eye contact with Sullivan, he said, I'm going into the middle, and he sat down, and that's the kick we're looking for, and that's the nine-point lead. Just as you ordered there, Mark. Oh, um, right. Boy, I'll tell you, it was tough getting there, though. Wow. We have to replay again. Watch the pretzel run. No, Help. look at no, look, look at the, look at the eye contact. And he's coming in, and beautiful. And he sits down in the end zone. I think what Nate has shown tonight, though, that I I think really is a step up from previous games that I've seen. He's throwing the ball with more authority. He's just like, it's Very like confident. You know, the ball's coming out hot. You know, and. Uh, because he had to. If he, that ball comes out soft, that's an interception. It's if just I, that close. If I told you 15 years ago when we started doing this that an A-B quarterback in the course of two games would throw nine touchdown passes, <laughs> you'd say, we don't get nine touchdown <laughs> passes in two seasons. It's true. Crazy. Crazy. Well, I'll say this. Jed Hogard is having possibly the best game of the season. I mean, he has 106 yards oh, yeah. and two touchdowns. Two career games. All right, special teams. we got to tuck mean, it I, in here. Let's go, boys. I mean, I got to see Jed Hogard's parents before the game, and they were Kick very happy for their Good son. Good bounce. And Ty has the ball up the middle. All right, and we converged on them at the 35-yard line. They've got everybody 65 yards to go. Deep breath. 128 to go in the game. 35-26. All right, we've got a little jarring going back and forth here. I don't want this to be like the end of the uh, Pittsburgh-Cleveland game last night. My Lord. Oh, God. My God, that was That, that was, was horrendous. Scary. That was dangerous. Okay. It was deadly. Raiders take over, deadly. first and 10, from their own 35. You gotta love it. I mean, I'm hearing some of the Lowell fans in the crowd here actually yelling at the field. That This one parent just yelled, knock it off. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for better advice. All right. All right, Ty, 
shows a quarterback arm with the completion there, the quick out. Okay, that's the Jacob Rivers. Ty and Rivers are two best players. These are the two that have got to get them on the board. First down. You got to keep the ball in the field. Lowell is uh, burned timeouts here. AB in a prevent. They're going to give him these They're throws. They're going to try to get him out of out of bounds. Those are two perfect plays here. Complete. Took very little time off the clock. One sixteen to go. Doesn't have much of a throwing motion, but at least he gets the ball. To Second George Justillis. One sixteen. No time off the clock there. Very little. And again, and there's All the right. good play by okay. who else? Jed Hogar. Well, uh, that only took three seconds off the clock. Need two scores here. There's a replay here. You see Jed make a play on the ball. You can, right, very, you can very well see a, a pick coming up here. All right, Ty with the keeper on the edge and get the first down. 107, 105, the clock, yeah, 105 to go. Clock ticked off a couple there. Okay, they're they moving, move moving the chairs yeah, here. Looks like a Raider first down. Well, the fans are yelling here. Well, I'll tell you, we have a very energetic fan base, very energetic coaches, a lot of emotion on the field here. All right, Lowell and a yep. pistol, or sort of a pistol, and the pass is complete and out of bounds. Again, the Rivers, and a minute left. Oh, there are flags. There's, there is something going on on the other side of the field here. Both refs uh, through the flag. Heard something about a helmet getting taken off? No, 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 no. You're confusing that with the last game. Uh, no, I just heard one of the coaches over there, her for uh, Lowell, yell that. Okay, what's the call here? Got a lot of flags on the Un field. Unsportsmanlike conduct is the call, we believe. Well, I'll say this, Teague, I mean, he has put oh, in one another, hell of a another night. Another flag, another flag. There's a lot going on here. Another flag just got thrown. And the AB player picks up the flag for the ref. You got, you need brownie points this time of the game. All right. Why, wow, we got to sort this out here. can say is the Lowell coaches are not backing off. They're still out on the field. Well, I've seen the, the uh... And they're gonna mark it against Lowell. Okay, that's what I thought. And if that Lowell coach doesn't get off the field, I think they're gonna throw another flag. Yeah, he's a good 10 yards on the field here. Ouch. And that goes all the way back to the 38-yard line. And he's getting close, line. he's almost in the huddle, that coach. The coach with the clipboard, the offensive uh, coordinator. He's, look, he's almost, the ref's gonna call another flag on this guy. And now he's meeting with the ref, but before. Well, that's their head coach, actually. Well, that negates two very good first down plays and brings Lowell back to close to where they started here. With a minute left, this is uncalled for, heard by Lowell. Okay. All right, we got a whistle, let's play. In the read option, Ty keeps the ball, patiently tries to get out of bounds. He's got a seam, 
and he pounds his way up. Wow, I'll tell you, what a runner. This kid. What a runner, all the way to the 40-yard line, and he gets a first down. Look at this, look at Ty. Very patient, picks a spot, goes along the sidelines, finds a, like a horse, finding the pole there. 47 seconds to go. Well, I've heard of the longest yard. This is like the longest minute. Second, and that's got its first down, right? So I don't know what yeah, this for, is. Yeah, uh, yep. it's, oh, it's got second ten. and 10. That's because of the penalty. Oh, all right, Ty looking deep. He's looking deep again. He's under pressure. It's intercepted. I told you. Wow. I was waiting for the pick. I knew it was coming. But a pick I knew from, it was coming. A pick from three yards? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care yeah. how they got Let's it. Look at this replay. We've got a spy here on Ty. As he rolls out, who was that? Who was that masked man? That is number 61. No, there we go, and all oh, right. Barrowit. Alex Barrowit. Alex Barrowit. Jumping wow. high with that vertical leap, and now it's taking the time, and we bring home the W. What a game. Victory formation is one of the sweetest things in football, and A.B. Don't throw the ball anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let's wait till that clock winds down here. They're out of timeouts. I got to say this too. Uh, Teague had one hell of a game. He, really he had He's he had 168 yards rushing, and he also had had 100 had four yards throwing the ball. Yeah, it's just amazing. Amazing game by an amazing player. But AB prevails 35 to 26. We want to thank our stat man and the third man in Will Henry, Kareem Joseph on the camera, Brittany Ford, Brian Coulihan, Pat Snow, our instant replay guy, and of course our intrepid director, Rick Degon. Thank you, everybody, on this cold, getting colder Friday night. Our next game and last game of the season is Westford. And if we beat Westford, we wind up eight and three this season. It really has been, uh, you know, just a great season. And you looked at it from the start of the season. You wondered how we could, you know, pull together a team with some of the, the tough athletic losses from last year's team. But heck, this AB team has really showed up and played tough all year. So that's going to do it for today's game. But don't go away just yet, folks. We'll be right back with second half highlights and more. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, A.B. All right, welcome back, everybody. Big time win by the Colonials tonight in a cold night here. And here we go with second half highlights and what a second half it was. Nate Sullivan looking. He's got a little outside screen here to Alex Barrow. Watch him go down the sideline. 
skipping his way, great blocking, and just a 15, 20 yard romp. Great second half by Alex Berowitz. Uh, here's a play where Sean Kelly should be indicted for grand larceny here. <laughs> Look at that. He just takes the football away and scores. All right, Ty with a little off tackle run. Look at the jump cut and boom, in the end zone. Kid really came to play for the Raiders. Now you can't make a more perfect pass than Nate Sullivan did. And a great catch by Tim DiPaolo. Look at that. Ty with one finger. Oh, he just misses it. And DiPaolo scores. Wow. All right, Ty, wait. Watch this signature jump cut again as he gets loose down the sideline. And there it is. Jump cut. And he robs his way all the way down for a score. Well, once again, Ty really surprising me. Down the seam, you've got Jacob Rivers, one of their fastest players, and Pitarino. It's a foot race. And Anthony Pitarino staying with him, but just can't catch up at the end. And Rivers gets in for a touchdown, and that made it a two-point game. All right, Ty looking, escapes, and another jump cut. He gets loose, turns, spins around. You see only one AB player on the back side, but AB responds in pursuit, slows him down. And then he gets tackled out the two yard line to uh, squelch the extra point conversion. Okay, Alex Berowitz, take a look at this. Just run in, he was in, look at that. He was in. Didn't get the touchdown, but he should have. And here's the pretzel route, watch Jed Hogarth. He runs left and then twirls around right, sits down and in Julius Edelman, Julian Edelman, <laughs> fashion, he scores. Oh, a lot of highlights. What a, what a game. Half what football. an exciting game. And I'll tell you, that's it, boy. I'll tell you, the Colonials really had to earn this one tonight. These two teams were evenly matched, as you said, when we opened up there, Mark. And I'll tell you, you know, the night got a lot colder, but these kids fought. They beat us fought all the way through to win this game tonight. And uh, looking forward to Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Turkey Day. We're going to Westford, and I'm expecting a W, and uh, I'm expecting an 8-3 and three season. That's terrific. Well, with that, folks, thank you for watching this presentation of Acton TV Sports. Have a great week and a half. We'll see you soon at Thanksgiving.